We're standing in the exhibition called A Puppet, A Pauper, A Pirate, A Poet, A Pawn and A King. The title for the show is taken from Frank Sinatra's 1966 classic That's Life. And this show foregrounds the private collection of Melbourne-based collector Naomi Milgram. In the past, my collection has been really just for my family, my friends and colleagues at work. Each of these selections show significant examples of that artist's work. They show them at their best, they show their strengths. All of these artists are experts in translating one media to another. So it's a real opportunity to get an introduction to their work as well as to get a taste for the scope and scale of this private collection. I'm really drawn to this work of Willem Sasnels. It harks back to 19th century paintings when artists for the first time were dealing with the relationship between painting and photography. Sasnel represents something of the photographic medium but also he gives it the work an atmosphere which is of its own. It's also very quickly painted. The artist's movement or actions of the painter are, are very redolent in the work. This work here is by Martin Boyce, the Turner Prize winning Scottish artist. It hovers between a kind of an architectural object and a sculptural object in a really fascinating and unique way. So he's incorporating both our lived experience of the urban space as well as something that tends towards a new take on the natural versus the, um, the lived environment. So this is a work by German photographer Andreas Gursky. It classically reveals the wow factor of Gursky's photographic practice at that time and the feeling that the viewer gets of this magnum opus view of the world, a real sort of luxurious overview, a sense that you are getting a perspective that you could never get from any single point on earth. It was really Natasha's inspiration that led me to um, share these particular works. So she talked about the artists, each one of them in a different way and expressing art in a completely different process. Given that this is the first time that Naomi has had her work on public display, she's made a huge leap of faith in the Auckland Art Gallery and our abilities to display her work in a manner that she's comfortable with. They look wonderful. It gives you such a completely different sense of what they can look like when they're public space, so I'm very excited about them being here.